something interesting. Something you don't want to get tangled up with. these little things up for MREs. I just take and put a thing of like chicken or tuna, salmon, sometimes hash or uh, spam in these. I usually put a cup of rice in, some bullion cubes. I always throw a chunk of foil in here. Usually some coffee, something like sunflower seeds or, or dried fruit or something. I like to include a paper towel or two be used for multiple uses. You might need toilet paper later or something. But uh, this works out well. They're cheap to make. <clears throat> Don't take up much room. And the keeper generally you can get these with at least a couple of year uh, date on them, you know, out at least that long. And most of them are good longer than that even. But I usually take my canteen cup and, and I'll... Uh, put a mark on my cups at the one 
one cup level as well as two cup with an engraver like the Dremel to just engrave that on and it makes it easier knowing how much water works out best with the rice. Not a big deal, it's not rocket science, but still I like it to come out decent. I always keep extra foil in them to use for a lid. But I always put a mark on these at like one cup and two cup level, one place or another on them. But I'm going to have me some rice here and eat something quick. Continue enjoying the day. Beef rice with tuna mixed in. Yummy. That's really not too bad at all. It only takes about a minute for that cup or so of water to boil. Pretty decent. I thought I'd show the sheath here. It's a extra I made for one of my moros. Um, I did this out of a piece of that buffalo. Now this here I did a, a bark tan for a few days on. Um, it was one of the thinnest pieces of leather that I could get from the belly area. It's pretty stiff now, but um, flexible. It's good stuff. The knife fits nice and nice and snug in there. There's no way it's ever going to fall out. But you know, it's pretty good to get it out. But, and I just put a simple carabiner on here so it can clip to a belt loop or whatever. It's done pretty good. Put a spacer in there, of course, um, to protect the threads. So. That all worked out good. Kind of like that style, anyhow. But this handle, I had just burned it some time back when I got the knife to help break up the red, so it didn't stand out quite as much. But anyway, that's it. I've done a lot of different things with. Uh, some pieces of that buffalo hide so far. I've done a little bit of bark tanning. I um, took some raw hide that I kind of worked it up just to where it was fairly flexible and then dyed it for a couple of axe sheaths. I still haven't got around to smoking any of it. I tried one day but we had way too high of winds and uh, there was a burn band going on that I had found about out about in our county which I think it's been lifted by now but one of these days I'll smoke what's left of it though and 
But otherwise, I've been doing some things like this with some of it. And bark tans take longer, but this was walnut bark, inner bark. Um, I brought the bark to a boil first and let it cool, and then I put a couple pieces of leather in for a few days. I've got a quiver going, too, that I did that with, that I bark tanned. And of course, doing it that way, the longer the leather is in, the thicker it gets. It kind of shrinks up and, and swells from shrinking, so it becomes what they call more fuller um, the longer it's in. And in some cases, it needs to be in quite a while, um, for up to months, depending on what you're working with. But this here looked like it was doing good uh, within a couple of days. You can kind of cut into the edge and see that your leather's brown all the way through or not, not just getting brown on the outside, how you can determine that. Just thought I'd show that quick.